Hello, welcome to Trisha's Cards and Crafts and um, this week's Thursday colour challenge. Um, today's colours are, are these three. Now I haven't got a full size um, stamping pad of the Blackberry Bliss. So it's Blackberry Bliss, Sweet Sorbet and Berry Burst. So I'm using one of these ink spots. Now you get, they come um, uninked. So you can buy packs of these and you can buy the refills. Um, this isn't the right colour, but these are the refills. And you can use your own, uh, you can use these then to choose which colours you want. So if you can't always afford to buy the full size pads, if you buy the packs of five ink spots, you can make your own little pads up yourself, which is what I did when I first started with Stampin' Up! So these are the colours that I'll be using today. I've decided that I'm going to use the artistically inked cling stamp set, which will be re retiring. So I thought, why not make a bit of use out of it and, and actually use this stamp set today. It's got some interesting images. Um, you've got this, which is a bit of a, like a watercolour effect it gives. So it won't be completely, um, oh, it won't be all solid one colour and neither will any of them, um, except for obviously the sentiments. Um, and I thought I'd use this uh, to make a thank you card. So this is what I'm going to be using today. So here we go. I haven't actually taken the stamps out yet. So I'm going to use this one here, which is the sort of watercolour effect one, the background. I'm going to use both of the flowers and, and I will be using the leaves, I don't get this in it, but there we go, the leaves and there's that one. just the one set with the two leaves on. Um, I might use this little one. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Uh, I need a small block for that. And this one for the thanks. So, whoops. There we go. So, I like the, the actual, I like that font on the hello. Best wishes is quite nice. I like the thanks, but I do also like this happy birthday. It's quite nice. It's bold, but it's not too much in your face. There we go. Right. So let's make a start. Um, I've got these. Um, I think they're still they're twenty two to twenty twenty four uh, in color pearls. Um, and I thought I could use these sweet sorbet. So they. I'm not sure if these are actually still available i think they might have been the previous years but i if not i i still need to use them up so but you could use the ordinary pearls and then just color them with the um sweet sorbet um blends <laughs> the alcohol markers will color the, the the um plain pearls so i could have used these the basic pearl jewels, I think they're, or they're, they might be iridescent now, I'm not sure. Anyway, whichever, you can use the um, blends to colour them, as you can with the, um, the plain, uh, I can't see them anywhere. As long as they're clear, you can use them to colour them in with, anyway, whichever ones you've got, the rhinestone jewels. I don't know where they've gone. Anyway, I'm going to use these. Right. Two minutes. Let's get going. Right, sorry about that. I forgot I hadn't turned my light on, so I've just turned the light on. Okay, right. So I've got those out of the way. I've also got some Berry Burst um, ribbon in case I want to use that as well. So those are my stamps. I get them out of the way and my colours can go out of the way. And those are now. Right, so I've got a piece of white card and a piece of blackberry bliss and my five by seven card base my blackberry bliss is 
five, uh, four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And this piece is another quarter of an inch smaller. So it's an eighth of an inch all the way around. So it's um, four and a half by six and a half. So this is what we're going to use today. I think I'm going to try and keep it um, as, as simple as possible. Um, so here we go. I'm going to start off with, um, I think I might use the, actually, I think I'm going to use the Black, the Blackberry Bliss for this um, watercolour-y type of background. Hoping that this has got enough ink on it. I'm just going to keep do this for now. You can just just push it into the stamp. That should be fine. So you will because they're um, distinctive stamps. They, that's what they're called. Um, the there's sort of different layers of ink. Um, the way the ink takes on them, so it doesn't actually take it solidly. So when you actually come to stamp it out, it will be quite different to the normal type of stamp. So it's nice and, um, well, it's just different. <laughs> see so I'm now going to use the I'm going to use the leaves as well but I won't use that yet um, I'm going to put this big image over here I think with the um, oops this is the berry burst now this one's going to be a bit juicier so I'm not quite sure how this is going to come out we'll see now in a moment so that one I'm going to put over here. I think I'm going to need another stamp as well because I've got a feeling there should be a centre for this. Yes, there is. So that's that one. And then I'm going to use my... Sweet Sorbet the other flower and I'm going to put that one next to it hmm, interesting <laughs> um, actually I think there's the um, the centres of the, for the flowers here. I think I'm going to use the bigger one. So this, oh, I see, this comes out in three. But I only want to stamp up that one. So you can cut them if you want to. You could cut the stamps up so that you've only got the one um, to, that you're going to stamp with at a time. But we'll see. Hang on, I'm going to put it that, that way around. And hopefully I'll be able to just ink that up. And then I have got a little bit of colour on there. Um, I got a tissue. I'll just wipe a little of that off there. That should be okay. And I'm going to put that in the centre of the flower there. Hmm. Maybe we should have done the other one. Don't know. I'll have a look now. So that's the scent. Actually, I might do it again. And I'll put it there. And again. Like that. Just making it much better. I just want it sort of so that there's something in the middle. There we go. That should be okay. And then 
I don't need those at the moment. So I can put that one out of the way. And I will get out the other leaf as well. I'm going to use that one. Um, can't see the other. So I'll have to take that one off for a minute. So no, I can go on there and use that one there. Right. Now, I'm obviously not going to be able to use another colour, so I'm going to go back to my um, Blackberry Bliss for the leaves. And I'm going to put some Blackberry Bliss on these. And I'm going to put that one down here in the corner will go off slightly. There we are. And I might put them together as well. There we go. And then I'll use the very best to do this leaf so I'm, I'll have a few leaves around here for the rose but what I'm going to do if I can oh that'll do I'm going to use this just to mask a little bit it doesn't have to be too much and I'm, I'll be able to I'm going to stamp on top of that so I'm going to use my sweet sorbet for this one I'm going to try and mix up the colours a little bit so, which way around? That way around, I think. So I'm going to come here and here. So they don't, they're not actually, I think I might have to go over that one a little bit. One behind that looks quite nice and then I'm going to put some more over on this side they don't have to be um, just first generation stamping so you can go over and it looks as though they're behind as well then so it gives it a bit more so by doing putting the uh, mask on it you don't you don't necessarily have the end of the leaf, but it means that it looks as though it hopefully is a bit behind. Okay, coming from behind. Right, I think that's all I'm going to do for that one. But I will get some more colour, I think, on this one. I'm going to clean this one off. If I can find my stamp. Wherever it's disappeared to. Come on, you can come out, join me in. Uh oh, seems to have disappeared. I wonder where you've gone. <laughs> Sorry about this. Oh, there it is. It's fallen over. I'm going to clean that off. And I'm going to use the berry burst instead this time and I'm going to put that over the top of this one that's nicer and let's see if I can find my piece of scrap paper which I seem to have disappeared. Okay, never mind. I'll just keep going with this and put that a bit closer to this one. And 
and I want to come in off the end here. So I'm gonna I'll put a new piece there next time. There. Go in behind here, I think. And then over here as well. And up here, second. I think, oh, I've got some on my finger, obviously. That's all right. Right, okay. And then I'm going to go find those, these little dots. I'll take that one off there. That one down here for now. And I'm going to use some black privilege. And we'll put some little dots. And I might use some black bliss as well. I mean, sweet sorbet. <laughs> and I'm not going to just make sure. Yeah, chuck that off there. Some over this as well. I'm not going to just do it on in the gaps. There we go. I think I don't want to do too much. That's plenty. And then we're going to have our thanks got a piece of white card here. So it's just going to be some plain simple stamping today and I think I will use my black, my berry burst. Yeah. For thanks. I'm not sure. Let's have a look, see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to put a slight um, I don't know if that's have I got it straight? No, I haven't. I'm going to try again. I'm going to do it again. Sorry about this. I'll be a moment. <laughs> try and see if I can get this straight on here. So I'm going to do a small fishtail and on this. So I'm going to, in the middle, take it up slightly and then go from each corner into the middle. 
on the same on the other side. There we go. So there's my fishtail. I've got a piece of black freebalist that I'm going to mount that onto. That's okay. Um, I don't need all of that. So I'm going to use my oh, there it is. My little mini true my mini guillotine to just cut this off. And I think I'll leave a little bit extra there. So I'm gonna cut this off. do the same thing with this I'll just cut my I'll stick it down first I think actually no I don't think I will <laughs> because let's have a go just to make sure so I've got into the center and then from each corner to the middle and the same thing from the other corner. And into the middle. There we go. So that's my, that's not quite. will definitely be sticking this down now. I'm going to use this because I've got it handy. Whoops. Oh, no, let's try the other one. There we go. So, got the flanks. And now we can put this together. Right, let's clean it, clear this away for a moment. Those out of the way. So we've got some space again. Here we go, right. Put this together. A little bit busier than I would have liked it to be, but still think it's going to look okay. <laughs> Hopefully. So, whoops. I think I come into the end of this uh, glue. all the way around and then this will go over the top I was going originally going to try and find the dies <laughs> to go with this stamp set um, but I didn't so I was going to cut the flowers and put the flowers and the leaves on separately but I think it looks just as effective like this and then I'm going to put that up on dimensionals fine. yes they are so one two three four and one more in the middle. Five dimensionals. There we go. 
and I'm going to put this so that it's coming in from the side over here. There we go. And then we'll have some of these little pearls. I'll put one over here. Oops, well I would if I could turn it over. There we go. And then I've got a few more. Do one there. And one over here. I think I will put a few more on here. Just because I can. And one more. Uh, yeah. Actually, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I've got lots of them and I won't be able to use them again probably. So there we go. I think that's plenty. Don't want to overdo it. So that is my card. And I've got oh, I got an envelope here. That I won't be a moment. Here's my envelope. Here's my envelope and I will put I think this on here with some of the sweet sorbet. I'll just put this flower on here. There we go. And maybe the very good leaf and this isn't going to I'm going to use the double one this time oh, I'll be okay and I'll just put that to come from there like that that is my envelope done so that's I'm not going to put this is a thank you card I'm not going to put um, the sentiment on the inside but we will put another one of these flowers Oops, on the inside as I usually do and I have this one oops let's get rid of the envelope a minute running out of space a second because these I've got a lot of stamps <laughs> laid out today so one here and then away and the very first of these leaves and I'll put that this way round and put them there that's okay I think put it there as well Right, so that is my card done. Let's get rid of that. Put those away, put those out of the way. There's too many stamps. <laughs> right, put that out of the way. And that's my card and my envelope for today. This is the colour challenge. Again, probably not the not necessarily the colours I would use together normally, especially not the berry burst with the sweet sorbet. It's a bit like a red to a pink. I'm not sure. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll have a go at the challenge as well, and I'd love to see what you've come up with. Um, right. Well, I'll see you again soon. Hopefully, if you need any information on anything, if you've got, if you wanted to buy any of these products they will be going on a discounted rate on the 9th of if they are going to be they are retiring but if they're going to be discounted the discounts will start on the 9th of april um but other than that you can get them or um now they're in the annual catalogue so you will be able to find them there so you will find them on my online shop Thank you again for joining me and I will see you again soon. Bye bye.